What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Nomadic Cleaning Channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with Yo Chang. We're gonna be doing an artisan shape soap review today. We have Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements at Modic to take a look at. In these shape soap reviews, we're gonna be doing a few things. We'll be taking a look at the label, we'll be going over product information, we're gonna be seeing how it smells, going over scent notes, blooming up the soap, lathering it, and also a shape at the end. If you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Grab your acorn, sit back, and let's enjoy the show. This week's shout out's gonna be going to Silky Smooth for entertaining that's right baby and don't you forget it kind of content and go ahead and take a look at what he's doing over there i really enjoy this label i like the airship i like the sparkles coming off the back indicating some sort of flight in motion give me your thoughts on this label in the comments down below now as we zoom into this soap you can see all the dips crevices creases and valleys very nice soap very soft finger presses right in Moving on to the aftershave, the bottle itself is pretty luxury. I like it. It's got a reducer at the top and the same label as the shave soap container. Took too big of a scoop out here, but man, look at how smooth that is. Put a little bit back because, you know, don't want to be wasteful. We have a pre-warm scuttle. We got some nice hot water. Let this set up for 8 to 10 minutes. Welcome back from that close-up of the label and the shave soap itself. Now before we get into the deep of the product information, we're going to talk about the myth, the man, the legend himself, Mr. Doug Smythe. Him and Fran have been whipping up lather since 2012 as Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is more than just a soap company. They have a lot of razor tech that they've brought back and revamped. They have a lot of scents that pay homage to classic fragrances. So when we dive into the eclectic character of Doug Smythe, he's what I think of as Sergeant Pepper in a sci-fi safari, and he's brought back soap for the Lonely Hearts Club band. To be honest, I haven't tried any of Doug Smythe's soap at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, but I've already been sucked into the fandom. I have gotten a metaphor blade, which has become my favorite razor so far, to be honest. And just look at the packaging. It looks so amazing and awesome, having such a cool sci-fi comic style on all of this soap products, razors, and brushes. As we dive into this soap review and we try it, I'm gonna be able to give you an honest opinion on this soap. So this will be one of my first tallowless soaps that I'll actually be trying. So I'm pretty excited about doing that today. Without further ado, let's jump into these scents. We have the Atmotic right here. Scent notes of aged oak, dogwood, patchouli, oh. and ginger. When I see patchouli in a lot of things, I just think of a hippie or some kind of incense store. You don't get that here. This isn't an overpowering patchouli. So take that out of the back of your mind. We got a lot of the aged oak, the dogwood, and the ginger coming through right here. Mmm, no wonder I love it. It's ginger there. Now, when we're looking at this label, uh, I really like this. One of the reasons why I got this soap is because it has this nomadic feel this traveler-esque vibe to it. When you look into the history of this soap right here, this was only offered with their travel scuttle for I think a limited time. An outpour from the community came in and Doug and Fran released this as the Atmotic blend. And I just felt that that whole travel and the whole nomadic experience is something I like to do and that's kind of resonates with who I am. The scent is different than the stuff that we've smelled so far. I like it. So it smells like um, kind of make you relax in a way, and I like the old ginger smell, kind of like a ginger cookies. I don't know if it's ginger cookies, mm. but I like the ginger. It's exactly the ingredient. You can smell it. I That's have nice. some anxiety before I smell it, but now I feel better. <laughs> oh wow! You hear that? It uh, cures anxiety. That is not FDA approved, by the way. It's a really clean smell. It's not so woodsy as you might think, given that it has the aged oak and the dogwood. I don't really smell the ginger. Now, ginger isn't something I actually like. She loves it's ginger. Like ginger. But it isn't something that's oh. abrasive to me. And this scent is unlike anything that we've tried so far on this channel. Everything we've had so far has been fruity or flavorful or um, bright. This is mature mysterious. Mm -hmm. I guess I could picture myself on a train or a plane or uh, 
in an air machine with this scent. It's not a morning smell. It's more like a mature, comforting. Maybe going night out. It's pretty wow. deep. I can see why people like this so much. It almost has like a light chocolate oh, scent. You look at you like relaxing right now. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm gonna crack open this uh, aftershave, and now they're boasting that their aftershaves kind of have this halfway mark between a cologne and an actual aftershave. Wow, mm. very bright. I'm gonna take a sample of that. What do you think? I, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Not too impressive, but I, this is good. I like this. I like the alcohol. It smells like it's gonna mellow out with this scent right here with the aftershave. I was gonna do a side review on this brush right here, but I decided to bust it out today just to try it with the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Soap, and we'll be using the razor as well. I'm done with the product and the scent notes. Let's go see how this is bloomed up in the shave yet. This soap's been blooming up back here for about 10 minutes now. So we're gonna go ahead and pour out all the water, see what we got inside the cup. We're in the shaved in. We got the soap all bloomed up. Now I think I put the water in a little bit too hot, to be honest, because I've uh, kind of jellified the soap a little bit here. So we have more of a chocolate scent coming through right now, even though it's no chocolate notes. Is that what you're getting from that? It's like a drink. It's like a drink. Smells pretty good. We're gonna grab the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Brush, 26 millimeter synthetic. We have the bloom water right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that to wet the brush. Now, to be honest, I probably have way too much water in here, but we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Wow, this is actually instant, instant foam. Now, to be honest, I thought that I might have messed this up because I had a little bit too much water in here. But as you can see, this is instantly foamed up. It might be slightly wet, but it is, it's just frothing right out of the bowl. <laughs> so I have way too much water in here still. So we're going to whip this thing up for a little bit and see if we can get some of this water out. Uh, I think you guys can see that this is whipped up quite nicely right now. It's, a, it's, it's quite a bit, to be honest. Look at that. Slightly brown. It's, yeah, it's got a little tint to it. Oh, look at that. Wow. All right, so this thing has definitely passed all of our tests. The bloom was excellent. The uh, soap is out of control. It is just bursting right off of the brush itself. It's actually bursting out of the bowl as well. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the shirt. We're gonna lather up the face and we're gonna go ahead and shave. Now that we've got our pores all opened up, I'm gonna take the water that we use to bloom the soap and I'm gonna just pretend that that is a pre-shave. Wow, just that bloom water has quite a bit of fragrance. And as you can see, this is quite the lather, so we're gonna go ahead and just start whipping it up. The lather is nice and warm from the scuttle. Feels pretty good. Wow, this this brush is pretty crazy. Uh, this is some this is some pretty nice thick lather. Do you want to try some of this? Is that your go-to spot for lathers on your nose? Yeah, it smells so good on my face. All right, it actually feels really good. It's all foamed up. I can feel it like really soaking into my skin. I don't know if that's just placebo effect or what, but it does feel good. There's a nice cushion to it. Now we're gonna get the metaphor from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now I do have a DOC on the way, but I did buy this one and I've been uh, very pleased with it so far. We're gonna try out the Big Ben blades. Now these are made in Egypt and they are super stainless steel blades. If you can hear my bird in the background, it's kind of ringing a bell. We like for the bird. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. Wow. Nice and smooth. Now this is a week of stubble. I can hear the sound of the shaving. Like each time it's different. Sometimes we're so smooth, sometimes it's not. And this time it's smooth. 
Wow. These uh these blades pretty nice. And these razors are really nice. Alright, not too bad for the first pass. We're gonna go ahead and go in with the second one, obviously, where I missed a few spots. We got quite a bit of lather here still. This brush is so nice and soft, fluffy almost on my face. We're all whipped up and ready for pass number two. We're gonna go ahead and do some cross grain action. Alright, my face feels fresh, clean, soft. I got a really good shave out of that. We got the aftershave cologne splash right here. Smells good. Got a reducer up here at the top, so we're gonna go all in heavy right off the get-go. I did uh, cut myself in a few spots, so woo! Pretty nice. Now they do offer a uh, space jelly style uh, after shave, and we have that in a few of the other scents that we are going to be doing a review on. But today, it's just the splash. Feels good. This is where a lot of that woodsy smell is coming in. Yeah, this is definitely different than anything I've ever actually worn scent wise. I like it. Yeah, I didn't use it's one fresh. of the best one for men. Yeah, it's a fresh, manly, mature scent. Mm -hmm. Very well traveled, as uh, stated in the uh, earlier part of the video. <laughs> I guess that's all I got. Do you have anything else to add to this, Miss Yokchin? It's just a comforting relax. I got a nice little burn to the face. Hmm. Kind of like that. It's uh, it wasn't right off the bat. You got the initial sting. Now it's like setting into the skin. Wow, feels good. Wow, perfect. Love the scent. Can't wait to try more of the products from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. This was the Atmotic, and uh, that's pretty much it for this shave soap review. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hit like if you did. Subscribe. Listen, you know how YouTube works. Just do your thing down there, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.